Hey guys, it's Vadim with MaxTech, and we've been recently getting some bombshell leaks for the upcoming MacBook Air that we should be expecting later this year, as well as a future, even larger MacBook Air, which is absolutely mind-blowing. I can't believe Apple is actually working on this. So what I'm gonna do in this video is go through all those new leaks and how the puzzle pieces come together in terms of the new leaks compared to the old leaks, and when we should expect the new MacBook Air, what we should expect to come inside of it, and the new one. So let's jump right into it. First of all, I wanna show you guys my custom MacBook Air redesign renders that I created with renders by Shailesh. You can see it right here. Yes, it's got a notch. Yes, it's got white bezels. It's got the white keyboard with the white keyboard well, and of course, this new blue color. Look at that. It looks absolutely amazing. On the bottom, we have that cutout MacBook Air text, the four feet, and of course, on the sides, we've got the same design that's kind of rounded like the new MacBook Pros. But enough about that, let's jump into the actual rumors and we just got a report from Digitimes confirming that Apple is gonna be launching the new redesigned MacBook Air in the second half of 2022, which means we should not be seeing it in June at their WWDC event. We should not. It's gonna be later on this year, and I completely agree with this, and I've been expecting this for a while because way back last year in September, Ming Chi Kuo said that he expected the new MacBook Air redesign with the next gen M2 chip to arrive in the third quarter of 2022. Yes, that is the fall of this year, and that was way back then, so I completely believe in what Ming Shikuo was saying, and I think it totally lines up with what Apple has done in the past. For example, releasing the M1 MacBook Air in the fall, November of 2020. I think they're gonna do it again this time around. And the craziest MacBook Air news that just dropped was actually from Ross Young, who has 25 years of experience in the display industry, and so far he has been on point with display leaks in terms of Apple products like the iPad mini and the new MacBook Pro displays, so I really trust in what he has to say, and he's apparently saying that we should expect a new larger 15-inch MacBook Air in 2023. Unfortunately, not this year, but actually next year. And getting into the actual details that he's saying, he's saying that we should expect two new display sizes however, without mini LED. But moving on to what he actually has to say, he is saying that the new MacBook Air that's coming out this year is gonna have a display size of 13.6 inches. Yes, that's 0.3 inches larger than the current MacBook Air, which has a 13.3 inch display. And this is actually a very big deal because it basically hints at Apple giving the new MacBook Air a notch. Yes, I know the leaks have been very confusing because some people have said there's no notch and others have said there will be a notch and I think this actually confirms that yes, there will be a notch because if we look at what happened with the MacBook Pro, specifically the 16 inch model, it used to be exactly 16 inches, but with the M1 Pro and Max chips, it jumped up to 16.2 inches. So it went up slightly higher literally because of the notch. So I think this 0.3 inch difference is because they are gonna give a notch to this year's redesigned MacBook Air. But moving on to the 15 inch model, he is saying that the new 15 inch is gonna have a 15.2 inch display. But unfortunately, that is not coming until next year. So let's pivot back and focus on all the new leaks surrounding this year's MacBook Air that we should be getting later this year. Now, we have a leak from Leaks Apple Pro who said he has an exclusive leak that Apple is not gonna be launching the new MacBook Air any sooner than September which basically crosses out WWDC in June as a potential possibility, and I personally completely agree with that, but making this rumor even more solid, a few weeks back, Mark Gurman decided to host a Twitter Spaces of his power on, and he gave us some bombshell leaks. He personally said that we should be getting new Macs announced between May and July, 
including a new M2 MacBook Pro 13 inch, basically a replacement for that model, which it might be just called the MacBook and possibly either an M2 iMac or maybe an M2 Mac mini. So with that said, right after that Twitter spaces, I decided to make a little prediction and theory on Apple's future Mac lineup. And part of that is gonna include the M1 MacBook Air. Yes, the complete old model at the same $999 price. So they're not gonna scrap it. They're gonna keep it around and then they're gonna introduce that new M2 MacBook in the summertime or June. And then they're gonna release the M2 MacBook Air redesign in the fall. And of course the M2 Mac mini and the M2 iMac before next year, moving on to the Pro and Pro Max models. And if you think it's crazy for Apple to keep the same M1 MacBook Air around for another year, I personally do not because Mark Gurman actually gave us a leak way back last year. He actually said, the new laptop is destined to be a higher end version of the current MacBook Air, which is expected to remain in the company's lineup as an entry level offering. So yes, that means the $1,000 M1 MacBook Air is gonna stick around. Now, as far as the actual features and specs that we should be expecting from the new redesigned MacBook Air, we should first and foremost expect the new M2 chip, which is a direct replacement for the M1. And Mark Gurman from Bloomberg actually detailed exactly what we should expect. He thinks the M2 is gonna come with an eight CPU core layout, which is exactly what we already have in the M1. So four performance and four efficiency cores, but they're just gonna be bigger and better cores with newer technology, potentially newer media engines, maybe other stuff added in like neural engines. But as far as the graphics scores, it's gonna be jumping from seven or eight to nine or 10 graphics scores. So just two extra graphics cores, which is gonna improve the graphics performance. And as you can see with these charts, that's the performance jump we should be expecting if Apple bases it off of the A16, which actually isn't out yet, but it will be in September. So hopefully they do. But there is a little bit of bad news in terms of the M2 chip because Ming-Chi Kuo recently, earlier this month, said that he believes the redesigned MacBook Air is on track for later this year, but it actually might use the same M1 chip, which is extremely disappointing and to me, this makes no sense at all because he is saying it's coming in the fall. That makes sense. No mini LED, unfortunately, according to him, but an M1 chip. That just does not make sense to me. That is just so disappointing. And I personally think he is wrong. I personally think the M1 chip is gonna stick around because the current MacBook Air will probably still be on sale. So I'm hoping that happens. And in terms of the M1, M2 and M3 release cycle, I believe it's between a 1.5 to two year update cycle. So that means that it totally makes sense for the M2 to be coming out around the spring or the summer. So WWDC would make sense for the new M2 MacBook Pro. And then another year and a half or two years after that, which could mean that the M3 chip could come in the fall of 2023. And that actually perfectly lines up to Ross Young's leak of the 15 inch MacBook Pro coming in 2023, because that's gonna be the next update. So that would come with the M3 chip at the end of 2023. So everything kind of lines up there. So with that said, with all those leaks together, I think the redesigned MacBook Air is coming in the fall, October or November with the M2 chip with white bezels, a notch, white keyboard, just like I showed you guys and these renders, I think it's gonna be absolutely beautiful. And I think the people who are saying that the notch is ugly, they're gonna take that back as soon as they see the real thing that Apple's gonna release. It's just gonna look awesome. So with that said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one. Check out one of those two right over there and we'll see you in the next video.